So hello everybody, it is Friday and it is time for another DAX Fridays, a new DAX function every Friday. Okay, with that said, in today's DAX Fridays we are going to, or I'm going to show you how to calculate previous month, but same period previous month. So today is the 17th of May 2019. If you want to compare monthly sales or May sales with April sales, you don't want to compare half May with the entire April, right? That doesn't make sense. You want to compare the same number of May, the same number of, the same number of days in May as the same number of days in April. So if you use time intelligence, I'm going to show you. So we go in here and then if you use time intelligence to create previous month sales, calculate sales and then previous month there is a function called previous month but it doesn't do what you think it does unfortunately okay let's check it out so we go put previous month sales in there put it as a card and then it will give you the entire month of april and then my you might think like well obviously we said previous month but if you are comparing this month against current against previous month you want to have the same number of days so this doesn't work so how do you modify these you can see here that is 45 check always your tax measures let me tell you that always no matter how many years you've been doing this it's just good so here you have 45,909 you see it here 45,909 so it is working but how do I get the same number of days except today obviously because we today is not finished yet so we want to have the same number of days yesterday okay let me show you it's easier than you think so we go and create a new measure and this is what we're going to do same period last month sales you see what calculate and sales no difference there now, what do we want to do? Think about what you need to do. You need to filter the calendar. So you get, we're, this is how, how we are going to do it. We're going to get the calendar and we're going to say filter that for uh, current dates in this month. So dates, um, month to date. And then we're going to say, go back with that time period, go back one month and then remove today. So we have yesterday. Okay. Does it make sense? Let me show you. So we're going to do, to go back one month, we need to have date add. I have a Black um, Friday video with date add. Check it out. It's such a neat function, actually. And then we're going to filter the calendar table and uh, we're going to filter that. So it is a month date, month to date. So it says filter the calendar table to the days of this month. So we go here, calendar date. So what this does is it goes to the calendar and says, okay, we have now dates from 1st of May to the 17th of May. But we said that we wanted to have it not today, but yesterday, because today is not over and then, you know, we will have a mismatch either way. So you're going to add a filter condition that says the calendar date has to be less than today. So yesterday, basically. And that's what filter is going to do. What now is going to do, we have all the dates for May from the 1st to the 16th because we removed yes today. So we have yesterday. And now data gets that table and it moves it back one month. Now, how easy it is once you know, right? Let's check it out. We put it in here, we put a card we give it a format so we can actually read something. There you have it, 18,525. Check your DAX measures, check your DAX measures, always. No matter how many times you've been doing this, you never know. 
So here I have a table where I have filtered from the 1st of April to the 16th of April and the number is 18,525 so I know that it's giving me the correct value. So now you know how to create a measure that calculates um, the previous month, same date previous month. And if you would go here and pick instead of May you pick April Obviously, it's going to give you the entire month of um, March because the number of dates are the same. You know, it's, you don't have like half month or something. It's, it's the entire month. So it works beautifully even when you go back in time. So I hope it made sense. I hope you can see how you can actually filter the calendar to give you exactly what you want and just go wild and play with it. It's a lot of fun. Anyhow, it, this is all for today. I will see you again on Monday. I have some cool, cool videos. Here's the thing, Power Week should be, was supposed to be this week. It hasn't been, maybe they released it on Saturday or something. So if it's Power Week next week, it means that the Power Bay team has released a new desktop update. I will review it on Monday. If it's not, I have a cool videos for you. So either way, win-win. Take care, happy Friday, see you on Monday. Bye.